The sky's the limit and no disability will keep this group from achieving their dreams. In this ABC 7 exclusive, Jake Korf was there as some members of our community who are paralyzed got a chance to take flight. There's so much that's possible if you are willing to try. At iFly in Ashburn, Virginia. You know, we're basically have you guys split up into two groups, right, just so we can gear up. The dream of flight comes alive in this free fall simulator. The barriers of fear and nervousness are understandable for participants like Joanna Bonilla. <laughs> yeah, excited, nervous, like everything mixed. But what is not holding her back is the fact that she cannot walk into this vertical wind tunnel. This was all abilities night at iFly, where people with spinal cord injuries moved out of their comfort zones. All right, I got your chair. They're just going to lift you up and in. We're really changing the way the world sees paralysis by doing these events because this is not this is not usual. Joshua Basil runs Determined to Heal, a nonprofit that mentors people recently injured. He brought nearly 20 folks to this event. I feel it empowers her. It just you know that she's capable of doing anything. Lisa Essex's daughter Leah has been a quadriplegic for nearly a decade. It was a really cool when I was like going up and then diving down. As for Joanna Bonilla, this moment reminds her of how far she has come since her injury six years ago. When they take you all the way up on top, it's the best feeling in the world. And you just kind of like breathe it in and you just let go of everything. It was amazing. The goal here, empower people to live their fullest lives by moving beyond the outdated barriers that no longer define the disability community. Jay Korf, News Channel 8.